There we go. Here we are. Made it through three patches. We got uh, I need three more patches. Point four and five point five. Five point five point five. All right, stuck to cryo. Well, greetings, Eskos. Come to look in on our friends. Rest assured, everyone is quite well. Been keeping a close eye on them. I've satisfied myself that they are all in fine health. Matter of fact, I are just about to convene in Don's rest. That's how best to use the pent up energy. Let's jo join them, shall we? Well, my friends, now that we have all settled back into our bodies, it is time we resumed our duties in earnest. Let us speak of our plans. Ever since the Emperor's death, it's been one unsettling rumor after another. I've a mind to pay a visit to Garlemald to ascertain the truth of the matter. A prudent endeavor. Tis of the essence that we establish the full extent of the threat. Not least if it should prove that Xenos doth indeed orchestrate events from the shadows. In light of which possibility, I shall accompany thee on thy mission. Be assured that thou shalt find me more a help than a hindrance. Thou requirest another to imbue thine ammunition, dost thou not? Assuming that's settled, there's something I've been meaning to look into as well. Welcome back, everyone! Lise! You're fine now, right? No more headaches or keeling over? That's right. We're fighting fit and raring to go. The famous Lise Hext, former scion and hero of the Alamegan resistance. Oh no, Graha. Also, I, I do I, I noticed the quality of the voice acting has a little off, uh, mainly because I I think this part might have been post COVID. Like they were recording from their home studios or something. Just things are a little different, consistency a little off. That's all right. It's it's. And now Graha's having the. Uh, uh, the, the uh, hero worship. Uh, uh, thing. I don't believe we've met. Really? It's so easy to assume that all Archons are acquainted. But then I suppose your fields of expertise are rather different. Grahatir, at your service. I have read much and more about your exploits, Commander. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. <laughs> Likewise, the others told me all about you. Do not be so sure. Words scarcely do justice to the vital role he played in our victory in the first. A more dependable comrade one would be hard pressed to find. Alpha, no, you're embarrassing, Gra. <laughs> oh, right. I did glance at the report, uh, but I'd be lying if I said I understood half of it. Uh, 
Exposition. Well, well, that's a lot to take in. Um, just to be clear, this means we're not heading for another calamity, does it? Shorn of their unsundered master's leadership, what Assians remain shall struggle to see their plans to fruition. And though I would ever advise caution, I believe we may rest easy for a time. I'll take that as a yes. Even so, I don't know what to make of this business about Hydaelyn and Zodiac being primals. A difficult truth to bear, yes. But at last we understand the nature of our adversary. And if there are no further calamities, neither will there be rejoinings, meaning Zodiac will never regain his full strength. Even so, as the oldest and mightiest of primals, he remains a force to be feared. Though his is a power born of the desire for salvation, we have seen the havoc it may wreak. And it falls to us to ensure that it is never again brought to bear upon this star. But tell us, Lise, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? What do you mean? Isn't seeing my long-lost comrades reason enough? Hmm. All right, there was one other matter. I have a message from the Alliance, and before you ask, yes, it's about the Empire. So, after Emperor Varys' assassination, it seems his cousin Nerva made a bid for the throne. The trouble is, he wasn't the only one with designs on it, and it didn't take long for a civil war to break out. And it's not just in the provinces. Early reports say huge swathes of the Imperial capital have been reduced to rubble. The Alliance will soon convene in Alamigo to decide on a course of action, and we were hoping you'd come along. Well, as it happens, Uriange and I were just this moment planning a little trip to Garlemald, and we should be grateful for any advice the Alliance can provide on how best to make the most of our visit. To Alamigo, then. Why don't you go on without me? There's something I need to look into. Ah, oh, forgive me. You were just telling us. What is it, if I may ask? I want to find a way to cure the Tempered. Of course. You think it may be possible to adapt the treatment you use to help those corrupted by the Sin Eaters? I'm sorry, a cure for tempering? But that would change everything. Alizé, consider yourself uninvited. Go and find us this cure. <laughs> I'll do my best. I was hoping you might join me. Don't worry if not, though. I won't hold it against you if you'd rather attend a stuffy meeting. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> A meeting. Lead on. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. I'll come too. If you don't mind, that is. I just want to be anywhere near my, my hero. <laughs> Mind? I'm sure they would be glad of your company. Pray, enjoy your time together with your hero. <laughs> and of course, Shishola calls him on it. My... No, no. That's not... I mean, I, I, I simply thought my knowledge might be of some use. 
It, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's really it. I don't think anyone here believes you. <laughs> we shall be on our way then. Godspeed. Uh, I'm Richardo. Just despite these awkward moments, Graha knows when we be ready for action. I know exactly where she wants to go. And they set out to save Halric. Bed. Uh, no. Uh, I, I don't think he's he's that interested in ghosts. My hero, I want to follow him around and everything. They set out to save Holric. I think the Abu was always in the back of my mind and have proved that the light corrupted or not lost. I'm convinced that the same must be true with, with the Tempad. Similar to those corrupted by the Sin Eaters, the ether of the Gabu soul have been rendered stagnant. And though the root cause is different, perhaps the solution is the same. It is by no means an unreasonable hypothesis, at least, eh? and it warrants full investigation. If there is even a chance we can get save Gabu, we have to try. But however much I'd like to race over to Limsa and set to work, there's no room for recklessness. In a child's life is at As I'm sure Beckler would remind us, we still have little and less about the soul. A number of things could go wrong if we don't exercise due caution. And so, before attempting anything, we need to learn all we possibly can about tempering. There's just one problem. Research into the condition has long since grown to a halt, and the combined work of our scholars involved, involved doesn't exactly amount to a wealth of knowledge. Not, not of the modern scholars. Perhaps, but what if their ancient counterparts know their elegance took a more than pressing interest in the subject? And if we search such as to be found, it should be at the Aether Chemical Research Facility. Where they experimented on primals and their worshippers, yes. Good thinking. I've never actually been there myself, but I did read reports on Alpha. But which means we'll be needing an airship. Ha uh ha -huh. Airship, you say? Meet me at the southern bank of Silvertail Lake. Lake, I've got a little surprise for you. Oh, I'm prepared to travel. why you're not resting well in the rising stones but when you step outside the rising stones <laughs> you're <in> arrested <laughs> the eighth right your ship and the Taru, as always, has an appropriate outfit. Oh, look at those boots. I give you the Bonanza, the Scion's very own airship. I built her as a company project with help from our friends at the Rising Stones, nicknamed her for luck and prosperity. 
Sotaru, this is this is amazing. We'll be able to fly just about anywhere we want. The garments are the garments are impressive enough, but to build an entire airship, the animals did not exaggerate many talents of the science fables. <laughs> I'd also introduce myself as your pilot, except the training didn't go quite as well as I hoped. But that's all right, because we've hired this capable solo here instead. Or from the ironworks. The Bonanza is equipped with a full complement of mana cutters, uh, by the way. Feel free to use them to get around our Sisla. But, enough talk, it's time to fly. All aboard! It's a company project. Just build an airship. I mean, it's useful. Instead of, like, fucking Sid in, in the ironworks for her pride every day. Honestly, Sid would be jealous of the thing that... Jealous of the way that airship flies. Tataru has outdone herself. Anyway, here we are in Ozisla, and Alphanero's report did not do scale of... Place justice. This appears to be Helix. It means we stand in the Alpha Quadrant. With this east lies the Beta Quadrant. Yes, I believe I have my bearings. Though this is my first time on Arsis Law, I did have some familiarity with the place thanks to the records in the Crystal Tower. Unless I am mistaken, the path leads. This path leads to an aetherite, beyond which there is an inf informational terminal. In fact, we can begin a search there. Bonanza, Doctor, Arcat Helix. Love this aetherite. And here's the terminal. The moment while I search the archives for references and bring. Ah, there we are. Icon Iconic corruption in overview. That sounds promising. Indeed. Let us see what this report has to say. Hmm, found it. The contents to appear have been deleted. What? No. Isn't there something we can do? Not from here, I'm afraid. There may be another copy of the report exists elsewhere. The question is where to look. It says here the report was written by someone named Owen. Likely that he kept a, book. kept a copy. I would say it is a distinct possibility. Assuming he is a researcher here, he would have had quarters in the Habersphere. He has ascertained the details at the Habersphere uh, control. Let us return to the Bonanza and avail ourselves of the mana cut. We need them to reach, reach our destination. I forgot, you already have a suitable means of transport, don't you? Don't need to waste time accompanying us back to the ship then. We have the atmosphere. I mean, if you guys are taking mana cutters, I will take them. all the locations here hold on we're gonna go go about this roundabout uh, I'm gonna switch over to answer so if anything I get some XP
Reveal the map. Yeah, unlock right though. I know, side trip. By the way, every little bit of XP helps. I did get my dancer up to the six five. I tell you, the I'm I'm working on uh, leveling the all my jobs on it. Lego so I can do the uh, job quests lines for all the jobs and I mean all the jobs I'm talking about both like all the jobs except for blue mage I'm not kind of just I I don't have the patience for blue mage <laughs> I have it unlocked just if I'm really bored and have nothing else to do, maybe I'll do. You know, this is what I should probably do. I should probably uh, be on Dancer and make sure all my maps are covered. Because there was... In Battle for Azeroth in, in WoW, I found out that I could get a good amount of XP once I got flight, was leveling my alts. I found that I could get a good chunk of XP just by... Um, Discovery XP. Grabbing all the flight paths that patients. Same thing pretty much goes for here. The only thing is, the only downside is that I can only do it once. Everybody's over. I get another 349,000 XP just for finishing. So, go. No. All right, back to Monk. Favorite, favorite job. They're mana cutters. If the late Owen did indeed have a chamber here, no one will be able to tell us its number. Yeah, from what I recall from Lady they out. Well, I mean, it's not. I, I don't think I could get like a full level, but I could get a good chunk of a level from exploring all the zones. Just by flying over everything. <laughs> yeah, from what I recall from the layout, it should be somewhere in the vicinity of... Warning, an evacuation order is presently in effect. Entry in the habosphere is not permitted at this time. Again, 
All likelihood, the order, order would be, have been imposed upon the fourth umbral calamity, and I doubt it would be lifted in the near future. Energy level critical, returning to base for recharging. Well, clearly there must be some other way to gain access, force for example. Yeah, you resort to that, I have an idea. Were we to send a surge of energy through yonder control mechanism, it should prompt this system to be started in the locks. As for a suitable energy source, a concentrated lightning charm might suffice. Happily, I seem to recall that they are known to form a, to form at points of stagnant ether throughout the continent. You seem to recall? You honestly telling me that was in the records too? Ah, I am. A report sent to the capital mentioned that the lightning aspect ether was prone to pooling in the continent resulting in surges that interfered with equipment. Minor detail, I grant you, but in my role as caretaker of the Crystal Tower, there's no such thing as too much elegant knowledge. Besides, my studies help me, help me to feel connected to this to home. I must have explored this facility a thousand times in my mind, but to finally stand here with the two of you, more exhilarating than I can and well express. Now then, the lightning shot. By me, I suggest we split up and search the beta quadrant. Oh, and beware of sprites. They are want to manifest where the ether is stagnant. Oh, you're just showing off. Which makes me think that you would make a contest of this. First to return here with the shard wins. What do you say? Well then, it would be my honor to come third. <laughs> Come on, Graha. If you purposely come in third, third, I will beat you. I'll be, I'll be very upset. Oh, there it is. Bravo, that was quite a show, adventurer. Why, the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of the prize slipped from my mind. I appear to f have forfeited our little race. Congratulations, the lightning shot is yours. What, no dramatic entrance? You've changed. Actually, you know, funny, let's get back to work. Forgive me, the scene so reminded me of our first mini, I couldn't resist. Well, the contest continues, so you better hurry back. Ah, but one last thing. Thank you, Essigas, for bringing me here.
Oop, I forgot to switch to use the mana cutter. That's okay. Fine. That's the important part. It appears Alize had no luck of victory. So victory is yours. Congratulations. Now then, may I have the shot? What is it? So much better at finding things. What do you have that I don't? That is a question I too have asked myself on numerous occasions. In fact, we would both learn a great deal from us, because not only about the secrets of adventuring. Come. Then to our mission. Excellent. The system responded exactly as intended. We now have access to the hemisphere. Only one obstacle remains. The security systems within. Should they be triggered, they would have... It could make life rather difficult. In light of which, pray leave the rest to me. If I am right, my royal blood should allow me to venture in unlusted. Assuming this place works like the Crystal Tower, yes, but if it doesn't, you'll be on your own. I promise you'll get out at the first sign of trouble. I promise. Good luck. Well, nothing to do but sit tight. Oh, this Owen fellow is very learned. But iconic because you all had to write. Unless you wonder, mine was about the combat applications of nothing if not. Half an hour is more philosophical, political. Yet. He chose to write a lengthy discourse on our nation's world. It was the subject. He asserted that Charlene's knowledge should rightly be used to protect all life on the star. In direct opposition to the country's cherished policy of non-intervention. Being a leader mem member of the forum, our father was happy. At the time, of course, Avro was utterly convinced of the views and would argued to the death with anyone. By which I mean the rows were long. Fair, fair to him, though. Though he's since learned a little more, be a little more open-minded. Down, he still holds fast to that one belief. For that. I'd like to meet the the young Alphino. For what I, what it's worth, my thesis concerned the elegant civilization as depicted in folklore. Oh, you're back. Didn't know you entered, attended the studio. I didn't. Thesis was required to turn my Archon's mark. It is that the studi students of Baldessian convinced me to write one with the promise of unfettered access to forbidden. Though I considered it no more than a means to an end at the time, I will admit it was gratifying to have my efforts acknowledged. Good gods, Archon's. Better to imagine the work involved. Enough about that. The fruit of your foray. Yes. Owen's archive, archive node. Waiting for me in the chamber. A copy of the report still survives. It would be stored in this device. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Initializes scanning for a registered user. User not found to proceed as a guest. Please complete biometric authentication.
verifying authentication complete guest identified as member of the royal family i am at your most humble service your highness mm -hmm. it never ceases to amuse me it's but a pity the effect will not last forever Again, you know, I've said as much when they granted me this gift, but until such time as it fades, I shall use it gratefully. Search archive for iconic corruption. I search in erp. one item found, iconic corruption, an overview. A report is locked by the author, to the state password. Well, the, well, the one then, your highness. How then I snowed the password. The, uh... Glory be to Aleg. Long live Emperor Zonde. Password incorrect. Please try again. I'm fine. Come on, passwords are invariably short and simple. For okay, Ricardo. Have a good nap. The password. The notion that that password would be something so annoying would be laughable or not dangerously stupid. Furthermore, your conduct in the presence of His Highness is grossly inappropriate. Know your place, handmaiden. What did that thing just call me? Courage? Password incorrect to Ben. Be warned with any further inappropriate behavior in the presence of the Highness will not be tolerated. All right, that's it. I say we dismantle it and manually extract what we need. Now, now. We see a simple misstep and we, and we risk losing the report altogether. This may be a task for Sid and his colleagues. Anyone can coax Machina into cooperating with them. Come, let us bear the note back to the Rising Stones. Mm, threat detected. What? <laughs> Fine, I'll let Sid try his hand first, but if it doesn't work, we'll do it in my way. I should probably mention that I have yet to meet Sid since waking up. Rambo did send word to the Ironworks, but it appears our friend has been afield on urgent business. But, uh, nevertheless, I assure you my proposal to seek his help is no pretext. However, however much I might uh, look forward to see him again, him and everyone, him and everyone, come, let us be on our way. Look at him, all but running. Still, it wouldn't be due to keep him waiting, shall we?
person in large lowborn presence detected. Take it you have news to share, so do I. I'm pleased to see your miserable success in news mob due to the Bedanza. Miles back too, I wonder what is decided at the council. Wonderful news, Eskers. Tataru contacted Sid on our behalf and he is on his way here even as we speak. While we wait, I sh would like very much to hear what transpired at the Alliance Council. Be so kind, Cryo. I'm sure if this way. As you know, the meeting was convened to discuss how best to respond to events in Garlemald. According to the intelligence from our German allies, the war of succession rages on and the Empire remains without a leader. Amid the chaos, the Imperial legions of the provinces have begun to move independently of the land. Of greatest concern to us is the, is the third. The third, a legion assigned with Lord, assigned with Lord Nerva. It appears they have received substantial financial back. House Brute. Brutus, are they the ones who were took in Yotsu and Bahi? As well. Venus movements, meanwhile, remain shrouded in mystery. We are hoping that that Sancred in Orange will be able to shed some light on his activities. Then. Until such time as they do, the Allied leaders feel that it would be unwise to interfere with the conflict. So, thanks in part to the Imperial withdrawal from Gimlet, they have decided to turn their attention to the primal problem once more. Working with friendly factions among the Beast Tribes, they hope to reopen dialogue and explore new avenues for peace. Given the timing, I suspect they wish to put their representative houses in a decisive clash with the Empire. Whatever their intent, it's not a problem easily solved. The, the Lamincins in particular struggle in the efforts. Alphano and Yishtola have been called upon to aid them. As long as we are dealing with the Tempered, I'm afraid no, no amount of dialogue will avail us. But if we develop a treatment for tempering, then anything is possible. Which is why we must... On that cheery note, why not make yourselves comfortable as long as the rest of us are sure in as soon as Morning, His Highness is exhibiting elevated blood pressure. Sit, long last. As important as Kavu is to be, I know only too well how much more that stake, your which would change the whole world. Did. Forgive us for not coming to see you sooner, my friend. As we may have heard, we've had our hands full. In our defense, we you are up rather early. I'm under the impression you'd be slumbering a while longer. Would that... Oh, I would have been had you filled your promise. Ha, <laughs> I still struggle with that. But where I stand, the secrets of traversing time and space seem exactly as a huge dangerous fear for following. Where I stand, the secrets of traversing time and space seem exactly as unfathomable as they ever did. But if an alternate version of myself has already laid, laid them bare, I dare say that frees me up to concentrate on other endeavors. Speaking of which, you wanted my help with something? What is it? Exposition.
Well, treatment for tempering. And for the next step, we need to find the password for this elegant room. Just so, with Nary Clue to guide us, we'd be here forever. Still not to guess correctly. Thus, we turn to you. Well, love to say that we could help you. So I will. When suitably configured, the Magitech terminal should make short work of identifying the password. I knew I could rely on you. Now, anticipating that it might be of use, I took the liberty of borrowing the tombstone from Rembrose. It contains an elegant diction. Good thinking. I'll transfer the information to the terminal and set it to work right away. Finished. Freedom. Password is freedom. Oh, short and simple, just as I said. Would you care to do the honors, Your Highness? I would, Melly. Node opened the report entitled the Iconic Corruption, an overview. Password, freedom. Password accepted. Boop. Opening report. This report seeks to provide an overview of the mechanism which icons corrupt and bind men to their will. The phenomenon we call corruption refers to the alteration of the ether of the soul. That ether ordinarily exists in equilibrium, the one element being more prominent than another. But when a subject is exposed to the ether of an icon, this changes, their soul taking on the properties Question. By, an, by way of an example, exposure to the ether of the fiend Sephiroth would cause the subject's ether to become aligned with the element of Earth. As a consequence, the subject would attain heightened affinity with Earth aspect and magics, as well as preternatural natural levels of endurance. Repeated exposure would further enhance these traits, ultimately altering the subject's very flesh. The changes undergone by the subject are not solely attributed to elemental alignment, however, but their testing has determined that the subject's soul becomes umberly charged or stagnant in the process. Stagnation of the soul has the effect of diluting the sense of self, rendering the subject vulnerable to the will of the icon. Thoughts of whom, whom come to consume their entire existence. In this manner, do the corrupted become worshippers of the icon? Their pray prayers serve to further empower the entity. Having discerned the mechanism of iconic corruption, my colleagues and I set to develop a material capable of shielding one from its effects. An endeavor in which we were successful, made at a great cost. Most of testing, many of my assistants, good men and women all, victim to corruption. Accordance with protocol, they were summarily put to death. I subsequently submitted a proposal to investigate possible potential cures for corruption, but it was rejected, deemed non essential by Lord Amon. Though I knew it would be fruitless, I protested the decision. For my impertinence, I have been stripped of rank and title and will shortly be expelled from this facility. In all likelihood, this report will be expunged from the archive. Nonetheless, I record it in the hopes that one day someone will undertake 
will undertake to do that which I could not. Find a cure for the victims of iconic corruption. Recording. But not even the Alagons were able to find it. Rather, we're not given the chance to do so. One cannot help but wonder what motivated Lord Amon. More importantly, this confirms the stagnation of the soul is indeed the problem. And you know, remedy that. True, yet that were we simply to reanimate the soul, I fear we do not to diminish the soul's fanatical faith. Indeed, it may well intensify it. No, we would somehow need to suppress the primal's hold over the subject at the same time, this them ever re remaining its role. If only we could, we could make them remember who they are. Or But of course, memory transfer. The process has the effect of compartmentalizing memories, separating them from manageable bundle into manageable bundles. Well, by adapting the technique, it may be possible to achieve selective reanimation. That is, limit the effects to only those memories that exist power to tempt temporary. Through thus restoring the sense of self, you could theoretically drown out the ins. Excitements of false faith, which had come to dominate the. E, the theory seems our experienced light corrupted would help us to identify suitable memories for the animation. But are you confident you can adapt memory transfer? Fired? Seem to recall your attempts to do so while trying to bring us home, called fading. We did. Right, despite my best efforts, I could not recreate the mechanism. But I can see that a rather com compromise I reach would not pr provide the basis for a cure. And perhaps it's better that we consider another approach. Though that's understandable. This time, I believe we have reason to be. You see, nodes such as this are built with the ability to simulate magics. Which leads me to believe that. It may be capable of performing simulations of the transference technique. If so, we would be able to conduct years' worth of uh, tests within the space of a few days. Hmm. It may be no different from how we identify the password. But it's going to take more calculating. Up more. Honestly, couldn't say whether my, our equipment would be up to for Let me sit. Why do you suppose Owen locked this report behind a password? Keep it from prying eyes, of course. Why else? A password that can be guessed by anyone. Leisure dictionary. Keep it with from a person minded to look. No, he wanted his report to be seen by those who strive for free. Not unlike the members of a certain distinguished engineering collective. I believe their motto is freedom through technology or some such. You two, round up as much magic tech terminals as you find and bring them to the workshop. Right away, right away, chief. Right away, chief. If we're getting out, I'll wait to speak. Oh, hi. Things are about to get very busy. Do we have, have you to help, eh? Right. Well, Graha and I configured the terminals and want the rest of you to secure supplies. Namely, Ceruleum to fuel the terminals and ice shards to keep them cool. The more we have, have a both, the better. Leave the ice shards to me. I'll round up some adventures and go on a gathering spree. In that case, I'll trust Esagos and Alize with the Ceruleum. Here's a promissory note for each of you. Take them to Skysteel Manufacturing in Ishgard and the Cerulean Processing Plant in the Athenalin. 
people there will give you what what we need. Bill's this well-known face in the Holy See, I believe. It is up to, if it's all the same to you, I'll head to Thanalin. We shall see to it that the terminals are ready for by the time you return. Elise is bound for this ruling pen to take yourself to this guy's still manufactory. Off you go now. Also, where you unlock a uh, machinist. Stand in the sky steel manufactory. What do you require? Oh, you're after Ceruleum. In that case, you'd be please present a note to our engineer in the airship blending. We'd be glad to assist you. Brilliant, you've come to the right man. Fair warning though, the price has shot up on account of this, the uncertainty of the Empire. So I hope you've got, got the coin. Oh no, I promise you a note from the ironworks. Don't see many of these. That's it's a problem. Good as gold to me. After the disappointment of not seeing you in Alamigo, what good fortune to chance upon you here of all places. Yeah, you can really tell this was not recorded in their typical fashion. But I'm okay with it, it's fine. Hey, Emmerich. As you may have heard, the Allied Nations are making a renewed effort to address the primal problem. To that end, have I invited the chieftain of the Vanu to Ishgard, that we might together plot a course. Since the war with the Empire appears to be nearing its conclusion, I would also like to call upon Estinian's lance. Alas, he is, as ever, a difficult man to find. I am informed he recently paid a visit to the Rising Stones. Should he happen to do so again, be sure to pass on my regards, won't you? But tell me, what business brings you to our fair city this day? Ah, uh, just getting some cerulean for uh, trying to cure tempering. Exposition. A cure for tempering? You never cease to amaze me! Until now, our only hope has been prevention, our every failure irrevocable. But this, this would rewrite the rules of engagement! It could end the cycle of bloodshed! Very well. You shall have all the ceruleum we can provide, and an airship with which to transport it. In this matter, you may count on Ishgard's full support.
This is what happens when you make friends with basically the head of state in Mishnah. I just came with a promissory note from the Ironworks. All I'm doing is getting the supplies. It's really not me. I'm just helping out. A lot of magic dice terminals. Why are you looking down in the dumps? Oh, who would have thought Ceruleum weighed so much? <laughs> Wait a minute, you carried it? I, I, I brought it in an airship. Serves me right for being stubborn, I suppose. I should have just done what you did and accepted help. Look, they offered. <laughs> Why not? Accepted. I don't know what you're brought. Good work, you two. This is all we ask for and more. Quite a lot more now that I look at it. Uh, I ran into Emmerich. <laughs> I ended up having him. Exposition. Lord Emmerich, eh? And entirely by chance. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. We have also succeeded in configuring the terminals, thanks in no small part to our able assistant. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's been a while, hero. Oh, you seem surprised to see me. Lest you misunderstand, I've no interest in such things as cures for tempering. But if you mean to achieve that which eluded even the storied elegance, it seemed plain that you would require my expertise. <laughs> and so it proved. Is that not right, Garland? Wait, he's trying to show it. Ask Jesse. She was the one who hired you. All I know is you're an employee of the Ironworks now, so you'll bloody well earn your keep. <clears throat> that wasn't the only reason I agreed to cooperate. I'm reliably informed that Garland and I are destined to unravel the secrets of travel, not only across dimensions, but through time. Doubtless the lion's share of the credit lies with me. Nine parts to Garland's one. And this research will be a stepping stone to that illustrious achievement. Uh, very well then. I'll do a tenth of the work. Just the part that's beyond you. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever you say, Garland. By the way, the healing applications of Crystal Foci proved very useful in getting us to where we are now. I must remember to thank Mikoto. It was from the Bajans. Right. If everyone's ready, let's begin. for temporary. Ah, all appears to be in order. Now, we just have to wait for it to find us our magic. Why not take this opportunity to put your feet up? This may take a while. Look, it's all beyond me. I, I don't even know.
Damn it. It's overloading. I mean, can't you slow the process down? What, just have it, you know, go at its own pace? Chief! She won't last much longer! Thank you, Scotty. Uh, we'll have to shut it down. Wait! We're close! So very close! Oh! Well, this is going swimmingly. Please, a moment longer. I beg you. There. I was able to memorize the magic before it faded. It still needs to be put to the proof, but I believe we have our cure. God, Gra! <laughs> it was like a glance at the screen, practically. But there for like two or three seconds, and you memorized it? Jesus. It's just as well. She'll never run again. The fault is mine. I'm sorry. Don't be. It may fall short of dimension hopping, but a cure for tempering is not to be sniffed at. This, my friend, is a world-changing discovery. One we're proud to have had a hand in. <clears throat> A few Magitech terminals are a pittance to pay. Thank you. Well, we've done what we can. The rest is up to you. Well, uh, I'm just here for moral support. The, the, this is this is this is not Esigos failing. There you go. Esigos is good at punching stuff. That's about it. He knows what he's good at. He knows what he's not. But we finally have it. Go for tempering. All that remains is to put it to use. They'll be paying for, praying for your success on the front line. In the end, we didn't have to pay for the terminals, which is great for us. But I can't help but feel. Bit feel for my counterpart in the ironworks. Last, the ironworks crew couldn't linger long. Far too much to do. Yet brief that, that our time together was. It was bloody good to see. Them. At long last, we have a cure. In theory, at any rate, we cannot be certain until such time as we put it to the proof. But I'm quietly confident. Well. If we are to test in on someone, then I suggest Gravel. His symptoms are relatively mild. He'll be fine, I'm sure. This goes for the fucking mouth. Trying to read. Yes, as long as we exercise due caution, we'll be fine. Without further ado, then, let's make for Limsa. We'll. we'll We've kept Gabu uh, waiting long enough. Limsa Limsa.
the plane, Alize is very fond of gun. To the extent that I have that I have a hand in it, I shall do all my power to bring him back. Well, the moment of truth, I'll have our host bring Gabu out at once. Apologies for the wait. Gabu, have you been good? Still no change, I'm afraid. He just stands there in silence until we move him. It's all right now. We're going to help you get better. Fancy meeting you here. Alphino Yushtola! I thought you were attending to primal matters. We were, and came here for a meeting on the subject. Certain pirate factions did not deign to attend, however, and it was cancelled. We had resigned ourselves to having wasted a journey when we chanced to espy you. Could it be that there has been progress with the treatment? Exposition. Using Magitek terminals to formulate the solution. I would never have contemplated such an approach. So this new magic, adapted from memory transference, would be used to purge the subject of their fanatical faith, while Angelo would be responsible for reanimating the ether of their soul. Hmm. Yet I wonder at the practicalities. If one were to reanimate the soul first, it would only serve to exacerbate the tempering. Conversely, a stagnant soul would not respond to the effects of the magic. Would both need to be performed simultaneously? Ah, nothing escapes Master Matoya's inquiring eye. As you say, both must be carried out simultaneously. And thus, I propose to imbue Angelo with the tempering treatment in much the same manner as I did the spirit vessels. By doing so, we also spare Graha the trouble of casting spell after spell. It's really rather efficient. Be that as it may, certain difficulties are unavoidable. The imbuing process will still require no small amount of ether. And, as I can no longer draw upon the Crystal Tower's stores of energy, I will be compelled to rely on those of others. Well, I for one would be glad to assist. As would I. Since the resumption of our duties, it has been naught but stuffy meetings, and I have ample ether to spare. Excellent. With your permission, then, let us begin. Yes, this will do! And now, it's my turn. Done. No small amount indeed. Well, we seek to go where even the Allegans did not. It was never like to be easy. The rest is up to you, Alize. 
The treatment itself will take time and focus, so we will need a quiet room. I'm sure our hosts can spare one. In case my adventurers... Uh... I will go with her. It may be a while before we return, so I would ask for your patience and your faith. We'll bring Gabu back. You see if we don't. Twould seem our part is played. Let us find a place to recuperate while we wait for news. Granny Wench? Uh, yeah, this is a good place. Well, seems this is a good spot to sit in to have a rest. For years, Eorzea has labored to find a solution to the primal problem, without success. Any hope that tempering could be reversed faded long ago. I myself had given it up as impossible. Given up on the tempered and the light corrupted alike. They were problems to be tolerated, or else eliminated, I believed. And to think otherwise was pure naivety. Childishness, even. But Alizé refused to give up. She struggled and she struggled. And her efforts were rewarded with a way to bring back Halric. And now countless others may no longer be beyond salvation. However much we bicker, I have the greatest respect for my sister. Had I half her stubbornness, nay, her unwillingness to accept the status quo, I would be a far better person. A far better scion. Uh, if it's any co consolation, you know of your work. She told you of my graduation thesis. How very embarrassing. Nonetheless, it is comforting and not a little surprising to hear that I'm still capable of impressing my sister. On the rare occasions I'm not annoying her, that is. I mean, that's a lot of brother you, right? And you have this great balance between the two. The, the twins. You've got the intellectual healer uh, 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 politician of Alphano, and you have the strong fighter or empathic, maybe slightly more empathic person, not as idealist, practical. So you got the idealist and the practical person. Um, it's, it's a nice balance between the two, and they both, like, as much as they can annoy each other, they at least acknowledge each other's strengths versus their own weaknesses and that connection is a great way of balancing them oh no at least hey alize are you all right the treatment. Did it work? Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. Delighted, happy, glad. Gaboo! All 
this time, my mind was filled with thoughts of Great Father Titan. But I never forgot about Mother and Father. Always, they were in my heart. Constantly, ever, always. So I tried to focus on their faces. Theirs and yours. Alizé's and everyone's. And I found that I could remember. One thing, then another, and another. Your hopes reached Gabu. They helped him to hold on. I'm so proud of you, Gabu. I couldn't have done it without you, Alize. Can you help the others too? Cure them, heal them, help them? Yes. We can. All of them. <clears throat> Without wishing to dampen the mood, I feel compelled to add certain caveats regarding the viability of the treatment for general use. As you know, reversing the effects of tempering demands a profuse amount of ether. And while Alize was able to heal Gabu alone, I fear the same will not be true for those who exhibit more advanced symptoms. Moreover, the treatment's effects are limited to the soul. It offers no succor to those whose very flesh has been altered through prolonged exposure to a primal's influence. All of which is to say that we cannot save everyone. Maybe we can't, or maybe we can. No one gave us a hope of saving Gabu, and yet here we are. We must find a way to treat as many as possible. Then, the next logical step would be to produce a veritable army of porkses, would it not? Granted, it seemed a simple enough process in the first, but I suspect it will be different here in the source. Not that I am any authority, of course. Yet there is an authority on familiars to whom we may grudgingly turn. She's stubborn, haughty, eccentric, irascible, laconic, annoying. And her name is Master Matoya, the real one. I have to go now, Gabu. But the people here will look after you, all right? And I promise to come and visit you again soon. All right. Thank you, Alizé. Thank you. We got a cure for temporary. As she will be at pay pains to remind me, I'm not paid Master Matoya visits from the first, but this seems as good a time as any. Um, let us make for a cave. Adasha. In the Dravonian uh, hinterlands.
ticket, you're ready to bear witness to the joyous reunion of master and pupil. Well. Nary a word from you all this time, then you bring every man and his pirogo with you. Did no one teach you any manners, girl? They were too busy teaching me etherology, Master. Jesting aside, I wanted to be the one to express our gratitude. I am told you spared no effort to sustain our bodies while we were away. And for that, we owe you our lives. Thank you. <laughs> you were gone so long. I was starting to think you'd set your heart on staying. It wasn't easy to leave, as it happens. Seldom does one have the opportunity to study other worlds, and I would not have minded extending my stay by a handful of years. Ever the scholar. Yishtola dedicated herself to studying ancient civilizations of the first, befriending a tribe known as the Knights Blessed in the process. There she took on the name of Matoya and won the respect of all the children of the forest. <laughs> I merely adopted an alias in accordance with the custom of my hosts. Yours just happened to be the first name that came to mind. <laughs> you mean to tell me you went gallivanting about using my name and only bother to visit when you need a favor? And don't pretend you don't. I taught you long enough. Indeed. And devoted pupil that I am, I could not fail to recall my master's sage advice. When the answer eludes you, look to the wisdom of your elders. I love the relationship between Stola and Montoya. You there. Were you going to introduce yourself? How remiss of me. Grahatia is my name, and I am proud to call myself a scion. I too wish to offer my gratitude for your invaluable aid in sustaining the Archon's bodies, as well as my apologies. It was my inexpert summoning spell which endangered their lives in the first place. Ah, yes. The one bent on digging up the mysteries of Alag. Old Galaf used to speak of you. And Kryles told me all about your recent exploits. Do you have a bad back or something? At ease, boy. Whatever mess you've made, I'm not in the habit of dwelling on the failings of the younger generation. You are too kind. I've also heard much and more about you, Master Matoya. Tis an honor to finally make your acquaintance. Well, that's more than enough pleasantries for anyone. Tell me what you want. I haven't got all day. Exposition. So that's the way of it. It should be a simple enough matter to make the familiar. The magic, on the other hand. Ah, that you may leave to me. Being the only one possessed of royal blood, I alone can imbue the subject with the necessary magic. So I just need to create foxes with the power to stir the soul. Just, I say. Though we're talking about a veritable herd of the little buggers, we'd collapse before we reach double figures. But 
If I could get a familiar to create the familiars, a mother porksy, as it were. Seems I haven't seen the last of that moldy old hole after all. Well, in case you ever wondered, Alfno got his innocent streak from our from my mother, and can be rather enduring, even useful situation. But most of the time, it just makes me want to shake him. What does she mean, do you think? Some manner of hidden workshop, perhaps? Moldy old. Really must miss the place. Oxy. Oxy. An inspiring idea. By the way, Asko, do you think I misspoke? Yeah, I assure you, it was not the intention to embarrass anyone. Yes. Yes, you did. All right. Off to my old workshop, then. Everything required to make your familiars there. That may be, but no one has set foot in there since the exodus. But to imagine what has become of it. Oh, we're sure to be in a handful of old familiars and mayhap amongst you, but nothing be troubled like you. We'll consider cleaning up the place, paying it for my help. Fine, we'll do it. Go. Now, if there are no other objections, I suggest you run along to the Maker's Quarters. Then one of my poor rogos set ahead to let you into the workshop. You need only tell him who you are. I'm, so, I'm too careful of Oh, you. Probably could have done this faster by uh, teleporting to the hills. Welcome to my good mistress, Rilik. You're a rogo. Him and I am honored to be on him. The day you will find us, be it again to make the making of the along with the cavern, wherein the requisite ingredients. I must warn you, however, that this is not to plead host to a single soul, much less a broom. Fifteen years, well, I don't know. Recession, my brothers and I. With that, we do not lose your way. Now then, Ribbit, you say the word, I'll throw you in. Dungeon! Uh. Great. Not uh, much choice. Yes, uh, Alpha Hill will be my healer. Raha will be my tank. Um, Victory will be that, ours! Fair that. Uh, Shola be my ranged. I got melee.
That's a lot of bugs. Right. To begin with, I need you to gather a few ingredients. Listen well to what the Porogos say, or you'll wish you had. see this place again. First things first, you're gonna need to harvest some clay. Counting on your local knowledge. The Rogo, the one wash. The clay we had at the clay clock cauldron. Give it do this portal if you would. Future so see it's taking up precedence. You saw me, Ribbit, and put down any pests that are far away. to assist you with the gap for a bit. I did not imagine the place to be so infested for me.
Hey, it's just about the way, but you need to deal with the money. the beginning. Oh, shit.
beginning. There we go. Ooh. Uh. <gasps> 485 versus 5. Uh, 480. Next, we need to get the water flowing again. We're back here again and on to the next time. It will be my pleasure to show you to clear out cauldron. You know, it easy to portal. The custom sound. There!
He's right now, I move to left with it. Spring on, uh, so you can use spring your step. Another new experiment. Just a moment. Since I'm in Steamia, presence with it, please take care. I'm gonna wait about 20 seconds here. 15, 15. the beginning.
This is one of those once you win fights. Oh, so much fun, more water, we need more water. No, all my water is gone, but I can't leave, I won't. Familiar is made with storm water. It plays rough. Yeah. When even you should learn by this caution. Last but not least, we need to fire up the key. That for right through a ribbit, I will guide you safely to the tomb by a cauldron. Good heavens, is the magma rainbow colored? Spectacular. I'll figure over a bit, please. Try not to fall behind. Product of dissolved crystals, best you wonder. Trying to include the like little lore tidbits. This is why you need to trust. You get some like neat little tidbits. What the ribby?
The magma won't stop us for a bit. It, it's that big brute again. Ugh, honestly, smite this fiend once and for all, Ribbit. What a fiery battle that was, and I don't mean the name of your destination awaits. And now the kiln should be lit. I went to Master Matoya. That takes care of the kiln. That takes care of the kiln. back to the beginning a lot of people will just burn but you need to make sure that the, it's activated <laughs> so I, I kept starting to do or just like finishing that thing and then just returning but right i'm too big also the pork seat Right then, let's get this over with.
Newborns are wont to be difficult. <laughs> Show her who's in charge. I love this fight. I really do. Uh, I think it is just a fun, delightful fight. It's probably not the best fight, but it's but I enjoy myself, really. Lunar owns Lunar own witch. Thank you for following. Didn't this help find her quickly or I'd be in for a world of pain? Away with you. Oh, she's over there. Underline. You're wondering what I'm uh, shouting out. It's the name of her abilities. Tenderloin. Huff and puff. Yay! 
Oh, for the... There we are, quite tame. Then all that remains is for me to imbue her with the magic. My friends, I'm afraid I must trouble you for your ether once more. That should suffice. Good. Let's set her to work then, shall we? I want to see some porkses. Assuming that is, someone can spare the requisite energy. A mere drop in the ocean for the great sorceress Matoya, I dare say. Excellent. Our very own litter of Angelos. And we can make as many more as we want, simply by providing the Mother Porksy with additional ether. I will require a moment before I try again. It's still hard work, but a damn sight more efficient than making them one by one. Thank you, Master Matoya. Everyone, we're a step closer to our goal. Distributed amongst the Allied Nations, they should do much to facilitate closer dialogue with the Beast Tribes. And given their present travails, I believe our friends in Limsa Laminsa should be the first beneficiaries. Agreed. Though I must leave this errand to you. I doubt my legs will carry me out of the cave, much less to Vilbrand. Thank you for taking the lead in gathering the ingredients. I expect you would benefit from a rest, too. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm fine. In addition to the porkses, I trust you've gained an inkling of how much effort goes into the creation of familiars. Or mayhap you attribute your struggles to old age. If I said yes, would it persuade you to treat me like an adult? <laughs> Not with that pertness, it wouldn't. Anyway, assuming you have no other favors to ask, I shall be leaving. Lest you wonder, Master Matoya has returned to her cave with the Astrola. No two peas in the pod, but they not.
Hey now, Hunter, Matoya's relic with a party of NPC avatars. Use of this feature, open the trust interface located under in the main menu. Uh, before I go on, we're at a good stopping point. I'm trying to keep it possible. May or may not finish this, this patch. Maybe go into the next one. We'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to go down. I'm going to eat some food. Be back in about five, ten minutes. Maybe longer. 